you don't brag about how hard your god boss is 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 railing you, okay? I don't care how wide you dilated your asshole. There was a post from a Mr. Sebastian Gorka, who is a politician, and I can't remember what he is and where and why. <laughs> um, Chad, help me out. What, who, um, I don't follow Sebastian Gorka. I just know that he's a piece of shit. What does he do again? <laughs> Somebody remind me. <laughs> I completely forget. Did you fully ratio him? I don't know. Here, let's just look it up. Sebastian Gorka. Many say he's an orca. British-born Hungarian-American media personality. I thought he was a politician. Is he not a politician? I thought he was a politician. Shut up. It's hard to tell anymore. Okay, conservative personality, politician. Like, look at Marjorie Taylor Greene, for God's sake. Jesus Christ, give me some slack here. British-born Hungarian-American media personality, currently with Salem Radio and formerly with Fox News, military and intelligence, in intelligence analyst, and former government official. Cheat! He used to be a government official, you f***ing... I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna do things to chat that I can't say here. Serving in the administration of U.S. President Donald Trump as a deputy assistant to the president from January 2017 until August 25th, 2017. He was a politician. Now he's just in media. And he's an oi bruv. He was born in the UK. So, uh, Sebastian Gorka did a funny little thing. He decided it'd be fun to bully. Yes, bully a crying college kid. Uh, it's kind of cringe, actually. I don't like it. So let's take a look at uh, a spoiler alert. Let's take a look at what he did here. Trans barister has meltdown because eight hours is too long to work on a day. Now, I'm sure that's all there is to this story. I'm sure there's nothing more to this story at all. Let's see what's going on with this trans barister. People wonder why we need a union at Starbucks. And I am literally about to quit. Like, I, I don't know if I'm going to do it, but, like, I really want to. I almost walked out today, and I'm crying in the back room right now, and I almost cut on the floor. It's just, I, like, I get scared. They re he really did make sure to emphasize trans. I, I can't, there's no way to even tell that this person is trans. Like, to the extent that you can clock somebody, what is he clocking here, right? I have no fucking clue. Like, he, he, he literally had to, like, go out of his way to figure that shit out. Unless he says it in the video, I don't know. I'm like a full-time student. I get scheduled for 25 hours a week. No, I know, Wilco. And on a weekend, they schedule me the entire day, open to close. I'm on the schedule for eight and a half hours both Saturday and Sunday. I'm like three and a half hours into my shift. There's so many customers and we have four people on the floor all day. <laughs> Only five people were put on the schedule and somebody had to call out and there are four people running the whole store and there's so many customers and there's possibly scheduled five people. <laughs> we only have 13 people employed at this store and there's so many customers. And they get good. To be clear, I don't know what it means for a Starbucks to only have four people, but I have worked service industry before. And let me tell you something. There was one night, my first night actually, where we had three servers and I was one of them. It was my very first night of serving. Oh boy, was I happy. I, I put on my big boy shirt, my big boy employee shirt, and I, I walked and it was a movie theater, dine in bar, dine in movie theater. So like basically you would press a button on your movie seat. You'd get pretty much immediate service, right? So I put on my big boy shirt, my jeans, and I'm like, oh boy, I, I can't wait to do this. And then Tuesday night, right? Not supposed to be a real big, um, big group of people. We get a horde of moms. Why did we get a horde of moms, you ask? Because Bad Mom just dropped. And they decided, uh, all the uh, upper class urban white moms decided they were going to drop their kids off at daycare and head over to the movie theater while their husbands, uh, you know, fucked somebody else. So they all went into the movie theater. There's three of us. And there's this gigantic mob of women who all want their wine, who all want their very specific dishes and delicacies. And boy, was I a very bad server that night. <laughs> I had no clue what I was doing. Um, I messed up multiple orders. I think a whole line of women's orders who all had to get like compensate, like, like get their money back for it. I spilled wine, red wine, mind you, in one, in one lady's purse. It was a bad night for me. And Jesus Christ, did I feel like a piece of shit. But I look back now and I say, hey, that wasn't my fault. 
I was fucked. Okay. I was completely fucked. We weren't prepared for that. And I was expected to do far more on my first night, mind you, than any like normal person could fucking do. All right. So I feel for this kid again. I don't know what it means to have four employees there. I imagine it's probably not great. And, uh, you know, whatever this kid's going through is clearly not something that he can handle. I don't care how easy people think it is. I don't. So, um, you know, this person's clearly having a breakdown to the extent that they feel like they have to share it with somebody. And uh, we should be respectful of that. And we should try to be constructive and not pieces of shit. But I digress. We don't have fair scheduling. Managers don't care about us. Our manager was supposed to come in this weekend and he took himself off the schedule. So he wouldn't be able to be held accountable for calling out. He just literally tore down the schedule that he was scheduled on and put up a new schedule where he wasn't on the schedule. Also, he couldn't have even seen that he was scheduled in the first place because he didn't want to be held accountable for not wanting to come in. <laughs> they don't want to help us. <laughs> we need a union because this can't happen. This can't happen. We need fair scheduling. We need managers to hold themselves accountable for helping their workers. They refuse to turn mobile orders off. We need the liberty to be able to do that because there's so many mobile orders and I need to get through all of them. And then people are yelling at me because they don't have their orders ready. And they don't know what to do. <laughs> Dog, there's nothing more scary than a fucking white woman at a Starbucks. Oh, you, you put in a full pump of caramel in her latte instead of a half pump? Oh, no. Boy, howdy, are you about to get fired, my man. Um, if not fired, then reprimanded for sure. Uh, yeah, like it's that, sh it's so stupid too. That's why whenever, listen, I switched to black coffee because I didn't want to do this shit. That's not true. I switched to black coffee because it's good. It's better for you. But literally, I go into a Starbucks and I say, I'll have a small black coffee. And it's like the look of relief on their face is just like almost tragic. It's like, oh, wow, you're a good person. I, I'm like, dog, I just I want my coffee. <laughs> it's, I'm just I'm just here for some coffee. <laughs> it's sad, though, man, like this, you know, to be more specific and more real. I've been to like, I, let me, let me give you another example and then I'll shut up. Um, I went to a Verizon store and I, I wanted like, um, uh, uh, what did I need? Or was it a Verizon store? I don't know. It was a phone store. And I, I was trying to get a, um, SD card for my uh, phone and they didn't carry it that at, at that location. And so this 17 year old kid who's running the, the register, uh, is like, you know, oh, like he's so nervous and he's like, oh, uh, we, we, um, we, um, we, we, um, we don't carry it here, but, um, there's a location real close to here. There's a real, there's a location real close to here. And I'm like, okay, I'll go there. And he's like, wow, you're just so, you're so understanding. Thank you. I'm like, I literally didn't do anything. I literally just was like, okay, it's cool. I get it. You don't have it here. So it's all good. <laughs> like, it's so sad, man. Can we all uh, agree to stop boarding the fucking weird unicorn drinks that are hell for employees to make? Yeah, what was that? Wait, wait, wait. What was that one post? Does anybody have it on hand? The one that's like, um, like uh, Starbucks special orders. It was like a whole like uh, thread. Oh God, that was dangerous. It was. It's like a whole thread of like fucking. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Does anybody have it? Um, there's thread. Let's see if I can find it like this. Starbucks baristas share wild custom orders. It's not that. It's like somebody who is very specifically trying to be like, oh, you want this? Was it this? Yeah. Like, wait, no, no. It's not that. It's not that. There's an entire Pinterest account dedicated to it. Okay, here. Yes, this is it. This is the shit I'm talking about. Churro Frappuccino. Ask for venti caramel frappuccino with three pumps of cinnamon, dulce, extra caramel, and cinnamon on top with uh, whipped cream. You're welcome. This isn't even a bad one, by the way. This is not a bad one. Like, that's a that's a tame one. I need, like, a bad one. Here we go. Starbucks secret menu sugar cookie frappuccino. This one's not that bad either. White mocha frappuccino. Add one pump French vanilla and classic syrup. Two for venti. Top with whipped cream. Like, that's pretty simple. What's this one? Starbucks baristas don't. Uh, beg you not to order the unicorn frappuccino. Limited edition drink hit stores earlier this week and customers seem to be asking for it in waves. Jesus Christ, look at this thing. It's a monstrosity. This looks like fucking candy. I'm here for coffee, dog. What is this? I'm gonna like stain the insides of my GI tract. Jesus.
All right, let's see what this person says. Dear, dear at Starbucks, the new hashtag unicorn frappuccino sucks. I'm not the one to bash anyone here, but I have some words for Starbucks. I've been a loyal customer and openly promote Starbucks on at daily food feed. These are never sponsored posts, and I share secret menu items that I actually like and think that others should know about. This one actually tastes horrible, in my opinion, like sour milk. Good job on trying to capture the IG appeal, though. But that's not the only reason for this post. I've become more and more frustrated at the Starbucks brand because of their barista's negative comments towards my previous posts of secret menu items and the fact that Starbucks has never returned any of my concerns when I've attempted to contact them. I've gotten threats from baristas of putting the of putting arsenic in my drinks, spitting in my drinks, and even death threats. I know not to take this seriously, but it concerns me if my followers try to order the drinks and I, I promote and receive this kind of negative negativity because of me. I'm confused why Starbucks hasn't reached out regarding any of my previous posts or complaints. I'm not the type to take credit here uh, for anything, but I know I've been a big part of the popularity of these secret menu Starbucks drinks. I guarantee that most of the time it starts here on at daily food feed. So I'm thinking maybe this will get their attention. Do me a favor and tag at Starbucks in my comments and don't get this drink unless you don't, unless you just want it for the photo. Trust me, it's not good and a big gimmick. That's the shit we're dealing with, man. Somebody who straight up contacted Starbucks services and was like, yeah, so, like, I told the barista to make this crazy fucked up drink uh, to very specific conditions, and then they got mad. And then they got upset at me. And I took that personally. Starbucks customers be like, I want something iced, bitch, Mox. I'll have a Neapolitan cappuccino, more cappuccino. Make sure it's got no more than four ounces of milk. The beans won't have the right texture yep. otherwise. And make sure they spell my name yep. correctly on the cup. They always put Foxy or Roxy. I hate that. If you can't handle that, I'll have a venti traditional misto. Please use soy milk with two blonde shots, <laughs> affogato, and ristretto. I'd also love three vanilla pumps at the very bottom, then add the coffee after, then add... Enough! We aren't getting you coffee. Wow. I was getting massive douche chills just there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, exactly though, right? Like that's that's what it's that's what it's like. POV, you are a Starbucks barista, and uh, Sebastian Gorga has just decided to make light of the fact that customers treat you like a fucking dog. Let's finish this out, and then we'll get to the meat. <laughs> And a customer was misgendering me today, like really badly. I didn't have. The okay, so this I... is how Sebastian Gorka found out they're they're trans, I guess. And so they were just like totally talking to each other, and they're like, "She's clearly incompetent." I have a full mustache and beard. <laughs> Wait, who would have? I'm sorry. If you got a mustache and beard, and and don't take this the wrong way, but if you got a mustache and beard, I'm defaulting to either they, them, or he, him. I'm sorry. Like that's like. If you tell me otherwise, I'll correct it. But like, that's not my first impression. You very like if you're rocking the beard, you either want to be like usually typically gender neutral or male presenting, right? Mask presenting. That's really fucking fucking weird. I, I don't I don't understand people. What the fuck? <laughs> You'd have to like know in advance that he's a trans dude, right? That's so weird. I get accommodations for being neurodivergent. I don't. I can't use, like, I, people get mad at me for using my sick time. I don't even know what to do anymore. I'm, like, at my wits end with this job. I really am. <laughs> yeah, so some person, some motherfucker went out of their way to figure out that this person is trans and then misgender them. You had to have gone out of your way for that. There's some trans friends that will rock a beard, but it's not common at all. But you understand my point. Like, that's not the default. So, once again, back to uh, our big boy Gork, the, the Gorkster, as I like to call him. Clearly, he's worked the Starbucks many times. He knows how easy it is. He knows that it's a walk in the park. And surely, if you were to ask him to take this person's place, it would not at all be stressful for him. He'd be able to handle it no problem, eight hours a day, 40 hours a week, for how much do they make? $15 an hour? Yeah. Yeah. Why? Come on, Gorkster, Mr. Gorky. Come on, Gorky. You can do it right? Why not? Why not, champ? Put your money where your mouth is, right? Anyway, we have Mr. Iron Age author John A. Douglas here, who had a very smart comment to make. He's, he's a genius, guys. He's a very hard worker and a genius. And he says, currently my face while watching this in the middle of my third 16-hour nursing shift. Oh, boy. Now, let me tell you something. As a nurse myself, I have experienced the hellish 16-hour shift. It is no joke. 
it sucks ass, okay? So I understand the frustration uh, that this person is currently feeling looking at this post. Here is where I draw the line. You do not get to use your struggles, your personal uh, gripes with your workplace as a beating stick uh, for somebody else. A college kid, okay? A child. I'm sorry. If you're in college, you're still a child in my eyes, okay? Uh, at least if you're like 18 to 22. So no, you don't get to do that. This person is working 25 hours a week on top of being a full-time student, okay? No, fuck you. So I decided, hey, I'm a nurse. I'm a good dude. I, I think I'm a pretty handsome dude personally. So I decided, hey, I'm going to reply to this motherfucker. I'm going to I'm gonna tell him what for. I'm going give to give it to him, right? And uh, to my surprise, um, I went quite a, I got quite a bit more attention than I anticipated. So I said, currently my face while watching a fellow nurse work himself to death to the detriment of both his own health and his patients and then bragging about it. And this is me. And that's me. That's the handsome mug himself. So why did I say this? Because you, regardless of whether it's your choice or not, and we'll get to the fact that it was his fucking choice to do that, by the way. He chose that shift, but I digress. Regardless of whether it's your choice or not, you do not get to sit here and bitch and complain and moan about how much harder you have it than the, the crying college child, okay? The person clearly having a mental breakdown. No, sorry. Um, yeah, fuck you. And uh, you're the reason that we don't have solidarity, worker solidarity. You're, you're the reason, dude. This is the face of a man who does not want worker solidarity. All he wants is he has sold his soul to his corporation to collect a few extra dollars of overtime, and that's it. All right? Just just completely sold all of his working hours for a few extra bucks of overtime. All right? And, you know, some people have to do that. Some people got to make ends meet. I get it. All right? But you don't do that. And then sit here and fucking brag about it. You don't brag about how hard your goddamn boss is, 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 is railing you, okay? I don't care how wide you dilated your asshole. Don't fucking brag about it. Listen, I don't kink shame. Just keep that shit behind closed doors. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. All right, the big reveal. I haven't seen it yet, but last I checked, I was miles and miles ahead of, of, of ratioing this loser. I want to get to the big boy. I want to get to Gorky himself. Have we hit... 46.8k likes. No, we have not. Oh no. Womp, 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 womp. Oh no. We haven't hit it just yet, boys. Not yet. Not yet. Can we hit it? I don't know. Uh, it's actually been slowing down a bit. I, I had no intention of ratioing anybody with my post at all, <laughs> including this guy. But we're very close to ratioing Sebastian Gorgon. I think that's pretty cool. I think that's pretty fucking cool. I got quite a few follows for this. I got quite a few people who liked what I had to say. I think ratioing this guy by over three times was enough of a win for me. I got plenty of lovely comments, including some I haven't read yet. King, I'm doing the same work, but why the fuck would I brag? Giving my life to work is fun or what anyone wants. LMAO, the likes. Love you for this. Uh, OLE, I don't know what that means. Yes, we got a good gift there. Uh, this person said the nurse is not bragging about it. I said, my bad. How does using your struggles as a bludgeoning tool to bully a crying child sound? Straight up. And the mic drop. No, I'm not dropping my mic. It's expensive. Here we go. He replied. I'm actually fine. Thanks. Some of us are just built different. To which I said, I, I, I decided to check his profile. This dude is chugging down the good old coffee, right? And I got nothing against coffee. I love me some coffee. We're just talking about it, right? The Starbucks, it's thematic, right? We love coffee here. He says, coffee consumer. Now, as much as I like coffee, I do not identify myself by a, uh, you know, being a coffee consumer. Clearly this person, if you feel the need to put that in your profile, perhaps you have a fixation, my friend, and perhaps there's a good reason for that fixation. Maybe it's working 16 hour shifts, three days in a row. Just a thought. Just, just throw on that in the old noggin. But to continue, because I'm actually fine. I said, I'm sure you are, buddy. Underline coffee consumer. Yeah, and this guy says, right? And like, enjoy having heart failure when you're 50. Exactly. Exactly. No, I told this guy in another thread. I'm not going to pull up every fucking thread. But this guy, I will tell you, did choose that shift, okay? So not only did you choose the shift that you're currently bitching about, 
but uh, you're also using it to once again mentally bludgeon a child. Okay, so that's really cool. But yeah, I mentioned another thread like, dude, just fucking like, okay, you want to call it work ethic? Okay, go mainline coffee and die at 55. What do you want from me? Like, listen, I get it. You're on your grind set. You're really working the knob on your boss's, uh, you know, in your boss's junk. I get it. All right. It's not easy work. Your arm must be very tired from that. But um, no, don't brag about it. I don't fucking care. Keep that shit to yourself. Okay. Like I said, you know, the, 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 let me let me end with this. The right talks a whole lot. They talk a whole fucking lot about how us gays, how us queers, right? We always, uh, being gay is just your whole identity. Oh, being queer is just your whole identity. What the fuck? We don't, like, come on, be interesting, be interesting. Listen, I would much, much rather have gay be my entire identity than have selling my fucking soul to my boss be my entire identity, okay? Fuck you, all right? Being gay is cool. Gay people are interesting, all right? For the most part. Gay people are pretty fucking fun, for the most part, okay? I, I, I've met some uninteresting and not very fun gay people, believe me. Uh, Vosh, for example. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but, uh, you know, like, d okay, fuck you, dude. Like, uh, what if I want gay to be part of my personality? At least I'm not uh, wasting... Like all 16 hours, by the way, is technically all of your waking hours, right? Unless you're sleep deprived like I am. But for all intents and purposes, that's all of you. That's every all of your waking hours right there. And you're selling all of that, all of that for overtime pay. OK, and sometimes you got to do what you got to do. I get it. But don't sit here and act like that's a good thing. And I haven't even begun, by the way, to touch on the fact that once again, this is coming at the detriment of not only his own health. But it's fucking patient's health. All right? Think about it. You're at you're on your 15th hour in your nursing shift. You walk into the room. What does that patient see? A gaunt, done with it all face, right? Boy, do you just want to get the fuck out of there and go home. Boy, are you just over this patient's bullshit. Oh man, another pain med cuz your pain's at 8 out of 10 because you were hit by a car last week. Fuck you. I want to go home and, 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 and jerk off and, you know, drink some beer and whatever, right? Or get fucked by my boss again or whatever he does when he's off time. But, but think about that. Really, really think about that. Again, I've worked 16s. One time I even worked an 18. Okay. A nurse didn't show up. Somebody had to be there. I stayed two extra hours. Shit sucked. And everybody sees it on your face. Okay. They see it. They mention it to you. They say, you look tired. They say, how long have you been here? And then what happens after that? They feel like they're a burden. They feel like every time they call for you, they're bothering you, right? Or if they don't feel like that, which they shouldn't, you, they're, they're still going to see it reflected in the way that you respond to them. Like, oh, what is it? Uh, oh, yeah, I'll get right on that. Even if you're trying to be as nice as possible, it's like, oh, yeah, I'll get right on that. And then you forget. You forget things. You, you mess shit up. Your patients see it. It's not good for anybody. Okay. And that's why. That's why I said directly after this. I said, since this is doing numbers, first of all, follow me. Second, I and before nurses don't always have a choice. Yes. And that's a problem. Why is our pay so, uh, so much lower, our hours longer, our staffing thinner, our patient load larger, et cetera, than they should be? Unionize and fight for better. And don't sit here and martyr yourself while bragging about how hard you work and for how long while shitting on others that actively want to improve their circumstances. The college blue haired NB Starbucks barista is not your enemy. Your fucking bosses start acting like it. And that's the T. Okay. If you're upset, if you're watching this and you're upset at your working conditions and you want to sit here and punch either across or down at people that you deem to be beneath you or complaining more than you are when they don't deserve to fuck you first of all okay but more to the point really think about that really think about who your enemy is really think about who is making your life worse it ain't that starbucks barista i don't care how hard they bitch and about what stupid bullshit okay it ain't that starbucks barista it's your boss so start fucking acting like it anyway if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Uh, like and subscribe. This is not a request. I'm telling you to do so. And uh, it's not a, a bell anymore. It's like a button, I guess. But hit the thing that lets you know when I upload and shit. If you want to be in the 
chat right here. The, the, the gay chat with the little gay people in it. The little gay people. Your name, your little gay name can be here as well. And you too can say hello at the end of the videos. And also maybe be read by me. Ya boy, Ella Gunter. One more thing I want to shout out. My Discord. I've been neglecting to shout out my Discord server. If you want to join some really cool fucking people uh, in the Discord server, please follow the link below in the description. I really would like to start building that up. It's great for community building. Uh, it's a great place to be. We got some lovely people who are very active there. Get in there. Again, not a request. Just go do it. <laughs> it's, 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 right, it's, right, it's right there. Go, go click the link. It's in every video. It's in, it's in every video. Go. I'll, uh, it, it does work. I, I checked it. it. It's right there. Anyway, thanks again. I appreciate all of the, uh, all the attention, all the love I've been getting. It's been wonderful. It's really been good for my ego. And, uh, I hope that you continue to build my ego by watching me in the next video.